asked me just a week ago, I would have said this. There's two different ways to be gay. Option one, gay sex. With all the multiple, moist, pleasures squeezed from juicy, exotic tastes, it was a lot of work and tons of cleanup. I mean, don't get me wrong, the fruit had his moments. But with gay sex, what a thousand times a year and counting, I was feeling, I was feeling independent. My name's Jean Jardine, and at 25, I'm looking for some sort of meaning to all this, some romance, someone to see me as, well, me, and not as some rich gay slut whore who gets everything he wants. Oh. Oh. But let's face it, what was the alternative? Some fairy tale perfection called option number two. Gay love. Hey John, your mommy here. Don't pull up. Through the years, I kept trying to believe in this sort of storybook happy times. But deep down, I was always thinking that a typical one and only would just never be my thing. Seriously, I was having nightmares. Couples taking walks together down cute little sunshine streets. Houses in pastel. Two and a half dogs. I mean, really, it's just so not me. Like, what's happening to my sanity? Three boys, legal age, chasing me. Why the fuck would I run? I mean, how does anyone fall for just one guy? Like, even if you're straight, bi, curious, whatever. Don't we all just want to have fun? But I have to admit, with finding love and, you know, dating, I'd say it smacked me right in the face. No one knew I'd wanted it bad, but the it I wanted was nothing like what I expected. Jack! Jack! See? Jack! Tortured by gay love. Does this look happy to you? But how about this? That's it. That's it. See, this was last week. That is this week. Last week, this week. Gay sex and gay love coming together. A miracle. Because just a week ago, this was me. Uh, John, your dad. Kiddo! What? There's time for work and there's time for titties. I'm not paying yeah, for but... butt. Not on company time and certainly not inside our building. Is that dad, clear? Can we talk later? Michelle called. Someone broke into the kitchen, destroyed the place by cooking. Break entering cook. Can you believe it? Think it was a competitor? No. Uh, yeah. Listen, look into it. I don't care if there's a dead animal under your desk. You're on payroll. Dad, I'm trying. Do you ever work? This morning, we'll I was talk in when you have time. By the way, Vivian called. Can you believe it? After 10 years, family reunion. Tomorrow, lunch at the restaurant. Your restaurant? Dad! Shit! Kitty? Dead animal? You like Mako can make happen. <laughs> What's happened here? It's like Julia Child exploded. <laughs> Monsieur, I thought you were far there, but... I'm here. Yes, uh, we did not touch anything for fear of the fingerprints. Uh, ah. Oh, should we call the police? Whoa, no. It was me. I was here earlier. There's a motivational workshop, and it said that you should try new things, so I thought, you know, why not try cooking? Oh. It's cool, I'll sign you guys up. Oh, absolutely. Oh, how exciting, how mind-expanding. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to see what you create. What, your private chest being hand-washed? I don't have a private. Ha. Huh. Hmm. It's been a long time. Yeah. You ever cooked before? No. Why would I? Right. Got a point? What? 16 restaurants now? You're trying to cook some sort of quail. 
Back to the basics works better sometimes. Reasons why certain flavors go well together. Isn't that boring? What? Apples. Monsieur Jardine? Yes. Welcome to Jardine. You want, you want to try someone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to spend all the world at different places. Okay. All right. Let's, let's see. Let's see. French cuisine. Of course, but I was thinking that we You could... work here and you cook like that. You didn't know I work here and you didn't know I cook. Um, both. Been with the company eight years. Started at Bistro in Denman, but just got promoted here. You didn't know? No. Excuse, uh, uh, should I, uh... No, 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 stay, stay. What's his face here is just... Showing me some sort of tempura, teriyaki, some sort of Asian thing. What is your name again? What? Your name. You're kidding. Buddy, come on. I mean, I, it's been like how long? I don't even remember. Oh, mother! What's his face? <sighs> Jack. Jack. Why are you even here? What is this? You're showing me what you do. This, this, this is your, your flagship five-star restaurant, Johnny. You want to fool around? Go Rachel Ray your other fucking kitchens. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, here's the best line cook in town, Monsieur. Please. You fire him. Do it after he cleans. Oh wow, that's worse than yesterday, eh? Rick. You okay? <laughs> I know what you want. Ten bucks for looking, stud. Yeah, no. Your dad's Sorry, busy. I... Should I call security? We're good, Candace. Thanks. Do we have an appointment? Johnny, come on. You can't fire me over the... Look, I'm sorry about, about the whole... You get your job back. Grab a club, take a swing. Marco, two coffees. Hmm. Okay. There for a reason, Jack. Right. Look, I know Jardines is French, but I've been cooking the same, but wonderfully successful cuisine for like eight years. Mm, eight years? Right. People want to see fresh ideas, local ingredients. I, I could really go for a career push because next month I'm. No. What? I just hired you back, Jack. You make good coin, great way to live. Don't think so much. All right. I'll wait for your dad then. Was that a threat? People know you as a yes or no sometimes, which is really great for business, but creatively, Marco. it's not. Massage? No, cream. He's been here for a week now. It's not rocket science. I don't want cream. You want better hours. I don't, right? No. Johnny, please, I'm going nuts. Carrots, tomatoes, zucchinis. Same stuff over and over again. It's boring. I'm begging you, please, just take a look. New recipes. I need a life change, and I know you want to step out from your dad's shadow. Anyways, the thing is, you're not that good with the food. 
good with the numbers, I think, but huh. that's why I'm here. I'm here to help. What the hell was that? What, what do you mean, what the hell was that? You kissed me. Well, I'm not attracted to you. I'm playing around, Jack. I'll think about it. What? The last 20 years? The recipes. I'll get back to you. But it might take me a while because I'm not that talented. Johnny, I, I, I mean... Right. Go for drinks, maybe? Tomorrow? Uh, uh... Yeah, drinks, uh, tomorrow. I know you're a busy guy, so no, I'll leave you alone. Busy. Uh, yeah! <sighs> you crazy! This buy from Prada! Welcome to Marco Tao Experience! Marco, please. Born rich, man. Sometimes they forget to touch people. Get up. Marco, would you just stop? Would you move? Johnny, what happened? Shit. I gotta go. No. My sister is talking to mom and dad for the first time in like 10 years. No. Don't go. It's a, it's a big deal, Marco. Big deal right Just here. Just stop uh. it. Don't touch me. Okay, okay. I stop touch. Marco, come with us. Stop. Would you just go home, please? What? I'm sorry, you just... You're not right for the job. It's too much work to have to tell you what to do. You tell me anything I can do. Your daddy, he not know you gay. You think you're the first genius to come up with that? Be gone by the time I get back. No one fuck with Marco Chow. Great to see you guys. Been looking forward to this luncheon. Us too, yes. <laughs> you look gorgeous today, my dear. Thanks, Dad. Good to see you. So, it's a nice little lunch. No. What? Hi. Hi. <laughs> what happened to your head? Hello, sis. What's going on? How long's it been? A while. Dad? You told him? I thought it was a reunion. I thought he should come. As long as his schedule permitted. Sweetie, would you? Come back later, please. Jack Gang, are you that movie star from Hong Kong? No, he's our <laughs> oriental neighbor from the old house in Kitsilano. Asian, Mom. He's Asian. He's a not the buffet at the Red Chili Szechuan, sweetheart. He's an oriental person. Oh, no, God. he is. You tell him. No, go right ahead. Hello. Hi, guys. Um. This might seem a little, well, out of the blue, but, well, we're getting married. I beg your pardon? Who's getting married? Jack and I. We've been in love for a while, so it's... That's not out of the blue. You're completely you, out of your mind. You, you, you are 
Not invited and may not speak. You say what you want all the time. You never think about anyone else. I don't want to hear me, it. I'm thinking about you right now. We would love for you to come to the wedding. And I was thinking that you could offer him a uh, promotion. A what? We would love to buy a house someday. So, you know. He works for us? Sorry, you work for us? Yes, sir. Um, He's since... a line cook here. Do you mind? Vivian. Yes, mother. <laughs> I am marrying the chef, a low-income kid who grew up in a duplex. God, Mom, you're a snob, a classist snob. Why do you think I ran away? Kiddo, slow down now. Look, Mom, I'm, I'm happy to be here. You look beautiful. Listen to me. For years, I thought this oriental man Asian, kidnapped you, Asian. worried all day and all night whether you were killed by a triad with a name I can't pronounce. And then on a Friday, when you know I have my facials, you drop this on us. Stop it! What? We're meeting with Dr. Chevelle. Is that next week? Viv, you're delusional. Shut up. Thank me later. Mr. George. <clears throat> Mom? Dad? I'm gay. What? You just have to make this about you, don't you? For the guests. You know what? I'm not keeping it down anymore. You know why? Because I'm gay. I have always been gay, and I always will be gay. There are gays everywhere, people. I mean, I live in Yale Town. Hello, it's the gayest place on earth. Just look Get at- Get a hold of yourself, Johnny. It's not the 1900s anymore. No one cares. It's okay. Your mother ignores it, and I just humor you. I've always played this ladies' man. That's why we never talked about it. But kiddo, you're as queer as they come. Please. Everyone knows. No, they don't. I know. No, duh. I slept with you. Not just him, Johnny. Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Here, let me show you. Show of hands, please, everyone. You're all here at Jardine's today. You know who owns it? Excellent. Thank you. Now, who here knew that John Jardine, that spoiled French kid who anglicized his name because he didn't like being called Jean like a girl, who knew that John Jardine was gay? Everyone. Thank you. Mystery solved. No one cares. Well, I do. It's your issue, honey, not his. Now, listen to me. Your preference for dangly bits aside, what should this really be about? What do you want? You know what? I need my own life. You and Mom had everything laid out for me. And I mean, thank you for the leg up and all. But there has to be more to life than just gay bars and fine dining. I mean, that's all I do. And that's all people see. It's like I've got a goddamn Jean Jardine t-shirt on, and yet nobody knows anything about me. Solutions, kiddo. Quit masturbating on the problems. Let's eat. Renard. Masticating. Sorry, honey. Perry ain't lemon, and he will not be staying. Good. Right away. Dad, I'm not done. We know that, Johnny. Go somewhere else. Figure it out. We're here for Vivian and Jack today. Forget the Perrier. Champagne. Be a good sir. Hmm. Credit cards, Johnny. Put them on the table. You want your own life? You can handle being fired. <laughs> what? You heard me. Did he hear me? Don't be cruel. Um, you know what? I can do better. Here. Take that. So, how long have you been with Jardines? Um, I recall a delightful... How is your mother? She's... she's well, yeah. Congratulations, Jack, buddy. Good luck with the wedding. Well... I wonder what we'll have today. What would, you, what would you like to start with? No, 
I don't it's eat an amazing meat. Looking I'm, well. I'm vegetarian. Thank you. So you got I know some great asparagus dishes. We, Excuse we do. Me? About asparagus? I tell you people family secret. Great. Which one? John Jardine is gay. <sighs> what? You not believe? Miss a train, Kitty. Miss Chen? Uh -huh. No, I from Shenzhen, China. I fly. Chen not come from China, go Canada. Weren't you under his desk? Honey. How about suing for sexual harassment? Yes, I can sue. Huh. No, 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 silly. I'll give you a much better deal, trust me. Oh, thanks. Hey, what are you doing? That costs money. I'll pay for it, please. Don't fire me. He was eating garbage before. Wait, can you still fire me? I could rat you out. Or you could, you know, text me. We'll discuss your penance over dinner. I texted you all week, John Jardine. You never text back. Joe, come on. That's not my name, John. GF1. What kind of name's GFY? Go fuck yourself. GFY. What is this? Well, nicely plated. That's about it. You can start, Dad. Okay. John! Can I talk to you? Uh, no. No, I'm talking to you. Why are you marrying Viv? We're best friends. I didn't even know you guys kept in Your touch. Point? She's got emotional problems, Jack. She doesn't need marriage. You make shit up. I'm not. Look. You don't have to marry into the family to get your recipes looked at. Are you completely blind? We've been living together for forever. If you talked to her once in a while, you would have known. We have talked? Yeah, all the time, like once a year. And you only talk about you. You are screwing with your life. Whatever. We're in our 20s. Party age. You can't tell me kissing me didn't mean anything. You looked like you needed it. You kissed me back. It was awesome. Really I the needed best. you to kiss me. Well, yeah. Lady Gaga fingering her fans. There, you see? Gaga reference. You can't be straight. No way. Who do you think you are? You now know me? All of a sudden, yesterday you blanked on my name. I love her. It's about commitment and family, not sex. Marriage without sex. Vivienne have a say? You're a sex without marriage robot. What's the difference? Sex with her. What is this, the 1950s? I need business advice. Last time I checked, you're out of a job. Plenty of time to read. Jack, I didn't throw this out the window, it was an accident. Whatever. No, not whatever. You keep having this delusion I'm some heartless prick. I'm totally generous, I swear. I'm thinking partnership, John, not charity. That's not what I meant. I'll read every word, I promise. Weren't you, like, having lunch? I went to the men's room. You owe me drinks and dinner to talk about recipes. Yeah. Whatever. Afternoon, Mr. Jardine. Hey. Bruce? Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm Bruce. There's something wrong with the elevator. Oh, well, it's on strike again, eh? Mm. Maybe they want to raise. Because it's <laughs> an elevator. Is your card, sir? Yeah. Call me John. Sure. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Oh. Security. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. 
Can't let you in the building, sir. What? Sorry, sir, you're gonna have to deal with the office directly. Stop fooling around, Bruce. Just need to grab a few things. Sir, that's not for the public. So yeah, it's, it's an line. emergency. Hold on. Call me John. I told you. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes? My key card won't work and my phone's busted. Who's this? Dad, it's me. Dad. Dad. from your daddy. He say you not come in. Marco, you're on a visa. Your ESL, you can't even work in this country, let alone... That's my shirt. No. All right, I get it. Thank dad for the life lesson. Just... No, 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 no. I am boss now. You should put out for me, put in. Shut up and listen. Ah, you're not that original. I walk around with dollar signs on my face. Just... All right, you win today. You can take the condo. Just go back to school, okay? Work on your English, at least. Marco. Marco. We twist her yet? No. John think to success in life must improve English first. Oh. It's not about English. It's, shouldn't you guys be at work? We're on a break. Education is important, Marco. Okay, lesson learned. Why talk good when you look like you? Boxers or briefs? Don't remember. Briefs. Brand? Calvin's. Mmm, so last season. Guys, come on. You know the saying. It's what's inside that counts. Embarrassing. What? Bye. Guys, mm, Marco! Bye -bye. Look, a promotion just isn't my thing. I want my own kitchen. I know! You don't get your own restaurant just by working hard. Do you know how much money it takes? A million to start a business. That's why we need mom and dad. You got talent, Jack, but you can't just hide in your food. I'll work overtime. Ugh, not the point. Look, I hear you. Being back with your family is not exactly creme brulee, but I appreciate it. Where is John fit in? What? You talked to him today, right? Why? What happened? Happened? What? He's giving me advice. You're lying. You're doing the thing that you do when you lie. <laughs> what thing? You open your eyes really big. Vivian, why would I lie? I don't know. Why would you? It's nothing. I saw no work last week. Still lying. I want to show my recipes to catch a break legitimate. <sighs> okay, not lying, but hurtful. It's not legitimate to ask your father-in-law, who actually knows about food, for a job. You'd rather ask some good-for-nothing playboy who pretends to be your boss. I don't think he's as bad as people think he's. Hey, Dad. Hey, Ellie. Uh, heads up. <sighs> Sorry, we back early. He not like High School Musical. But you lied. Mom, she lied. You said we'd watch basketball. Singing about it isn't the same. Ma, uh, do you mind taking him inside? Viv and I need to have a talk about why she thinks I'm having second doubts about our marriage. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. I'm not the one thinking. Grab the ball, Ollie. Let's go. What do you mean, marriage? Ma, I was gonna... You get married, you not tell me? This is good fortune, big news! Ma, don't, don't yell. Just, ow. I not yell, I ask. You two have so many big secrets. Why you not tell me that you have wedding? Dinner? 
crash for the night, maybe? I am sorry, monsieur. Strict orders. You are no longer part of the family. I know you like my conduct. Have a party, then. Go nuts. Your father changed the locks, monsieur. These keys no longer work. I saw a golfer once, had to have it removed. Jack. My dad left before I was born, so I have no idea what he looks like. Nor do I care. I know. Okay, listen. John pushed me off the tree floor when we were nine. But we never talked about it because, well, he started ignoring me. So whatever. I'm over it. What else do you want to know? Are you in love with him? Jack, are you? Love's relative here. Who cares? What? I care. I'm not in love with them. Viv, I'm not in love Fine. with them. Sorry, you mind cooking for once, Viv? Thanks. <laughs> to suffer, but I can't stand anyone eating garbage. Sorry about giving you a hard time today. I might have deserved it. Join me for that dinner now? Funeral or fashion? Performance artist. Like what? Like a, like a mime? <laughs> no, a beat poet. You're shitting me. Why? <laughs> that didn't take long. Wait, I'm sorry. That's great. Good for you. Don't patronize me, John. I know you can't imagine any of us with a brain or a personality. That's not true. I just, I, we just, um, we just never got around to it. Yeah. Second dates aren't your thing. I'm sorry I didn't text back. I'm sure you're really interesting. Oh, man. Really interesting for an incredibly hot, really easy way to- Man, you're such a dick. Being hot doesn't exclude having a purpose, you know. Yeah, I'm starting to get that. You have a place to sleep tonight? And no, that's not a come on, I do mean sleep. I have a couch. I'll be fine. Okay. Well, good luck. My name's Paul, in case you're wondering at all. Try not to be such an asshole all the time. See you around. Fiance works for us, remember? Hi, Oliver. I am your Uncle John. I heard a lot about you. Well, I'm sorry we didn't meet sooner. What is going on? Mom's sick of Dad's car. Ollie! Viv! <laughs> you told me that Ollie's dad was some really awesome dude from some really classy John. bar. You know that Jack is Ollie's father. <laughs> Please. I'm not going to tell you my secrets. Everyone says I look like my dad. OK. You do. <sighs> you have a dad. Great. Yeah. We're moving out, John. Jack and I, it's over. 
He finally told you? Ollie, can you get a cab? But I have to go to the bathroom. No, you just went. But the doctor said whenever Ollie, I want. find a cab now. Mm. Oh. Jack finally told me what? Why are you leaving again? Why are you here? I had to talk to Jack for a second. Ollie, he's seeing a doctor. Don't it... change the subject. You don't even know Jack. Why are you here? I don't know. I guess, um, I came for you. For you. Because I am out on my ass and you are the only family still talking to me. Barely, but still. No. Viv, yes, I... yes, you need a place to stay. Jack needs someone to cook for. <sighs> Ollie! Wait! You're the only man Jack ever wanted. There. I said it. Great. Happy? What? Okay. Viv! Bye-bye. Viv! Okay, okay, okay! Okay what? Hello! Kindergarten. Middle school? High school. What about them? He ended up working for you. So lots of people work for me, Viv. He slept with your sister. Once upon a time. Look, he's the father of your nephew, duh. He's been dancing around, arms flailing for like decades. He just never had the balls to talk to you. Not that you deserve any more That doesn't make any sense at all. You got what? Five million friends online, Johnny. <sighs> I mean, who the hell can compete with that? You know, you could have told me. No. No. Because I am not a matchmaking fruit fly. For once, figure something out for yourself. You don't deserve him, Johnny. Ice cream in the freezer. Don't eat the mint chip. I love you, Johnny. For some reason, I do. And Jack is family, too, now, okay? My family. Treat him like caviar. a naked man before? What the hell? Put some clothes on. What is this? What, what is with the apples, Jack? Viv and Ollie just left. They said I could crash here. So as long as you don't kill me in the middle of the night, I'll take the couch. They're gone, Jack. They moved out. You should talk to her. Get out. What? Get out. Right now. Hey, 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 remember fifth grade when I had a wedgie? You help. I can't do stuff for you people anymore. If you can't afford to pay me, why should I work? You people listen. Dirt. Tall people. Funny! <laughs> you say I make good coin? Yeah. You don't even know how to pay your employees, John. I live in a box. 
Well, you see, this is it. And it's half my freaking salary. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I guess I didn't... I didn't mean... For now, I'll do your dishes. You look at my proposal? I'm sorry I ate your ice cream. Get out! Jack! Jack, I'll find it tomorrow. I'll read it tomorrow. Then we can have a meeting after. We are yes. not having a meeting. Here's a recap. The family that I've been building a future for just left. Get out and let me cry no. over it. Jack, at least let me get my clothes. Get out! My underwear that may... Jack! Jack! I didn't know Ollie was your kid, Jack. I would have been more subtle about the whole marriage thing. Ah! Eat your underwear, you piece of shit! I'm sorry. Oh, hey, sir. Sorry, we lock up after hours. Were you at the gym? No, not tonight. Uh, Egg roll? No, I'm fine. Have you seen a red folder? What? This? Oh, my God. Oh, oh whoops, sorry. I thought that was just trash. Recycling came by, took the pages out about an hour ago. No, no, no. <sighs> gotcha. Wow, sense of humor, eh? Sorry, sir, if I could... John, you have this look of guilt every time you come here. You gotta just eat, sleep, work, and play, you know? Relax a bit. Like your dad, he's great with that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it a thing. It's Bruce, right? I've been here for like five years, man. Yeah, I know. It's a thing I have. Oh, wow, you want meds? Sorry. No, I mean... I have trouble remembering names. It's Bruce. Bruce Weber. Like the photographer? He's one of the best male gay nude. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Look, was I out of line? You know, with the whole gay the guilt, the guilt thing? No. No. I appreciate it, Bruce. Good eye. Eyes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go. Hey, how often do you eat Chinese? It was on special. Oh boy, huh? Wow, oh, we keep telling you, you didn't need to buy so much stuff. Ah, cheap, cheap, no worries. Buy more, big discount. Can I eat so many? Thanks. I come here also. Because I want to tell you the story of your father. Well, I don't think I can handle it right now. He's not a bad man. Your father. Actually, he's not even a man. Wait, oh, wait, Jack, you... put the fish in the bottle, not in the feast. It must eat flesh. Wait, what do you mean he's not even a fish, man? Fish, fridge, now. I'm tending flashes. I'm coming out from the zoo. You mind finishing your story? Oh, not from zoo, from jar. Uh, 1983, Beijing University. First time test tube experiment. They asked for a volunteer to put sperm from a refrigerator Ooh. into my. Whoa. I tell you this now because I see you marry for wrong reason. You choose your own family. You don't have to be seen like everyone else. Hey, um, I read your proposal. And aside from some spelling, Ooh, Mrs. Kang. Hi. Uh, who, who are you? Your neighbor, from before. Uh, oh, 
uh, John Jardine. <laughs> okay, I, I go. Ma, uh, you don't need to. Call me tomorrow, huh? If I not buy a dress for a wedding, I spend money on vacation. Bye bye. Bye. That explains you in a nutshell. You brought my towel back. Thanks. Jack, I'm here to brainstorm. I'm not in the mood. I've got a great idea. John, I'm not in the mood. My personal life just swooshed down the toilet. Well, we can talk personal because I listen. Here. You know, up until the other day, I didn't even know you were into me. What have you got? Cucumbers? Zucchini? I have some cyanide. Some Drano underneath the sink. You want some of that? Mm, hot. My mom just told me I'm artificially inseminated. Oh, you're making me wet. I'm a communist lab experiment. Practically inhuman. Mm. It's uh, why I'm not attracted to you at all. Yeah, no, what's to like? Oops. You're wasting my food. Hmm. <laughs> You saw Grunge Buckets without me. That band from Surrey? You took Davin McGee. That swizzle stick wench. We were best friends. You don't remember, do you? The concert? Jack, that was like 10 years ago. You think you can do whatever you want because you're rich and famous and beautiful and perfect and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, wake up because no one gives a crap about you but you. If you think all that, then why did you want to partner up with me? Because you're rich, and beautiful, huh. and famous, and... Well, you're not perfect, but... You always had this thing for the unknown. Passion for it. It's a small part of you that isn't wrapped up in entitlement. I see glimpses of it sometimes, when you're not scared shitless trying to prove to everyone else what you are. That's about it. I don't know if I'm fantasizing, but seeing you for you turns you on somehow. You should really stick around. So you know there's a lot of westernized Chinese restaurants? Good. Good staying. This is 24-hour greasy crap. So instead of gentrifying Chinese food, as we've seen for decades, why not make Western food Asian? I mean, I'm not talking food truck fusion here. I, I, I mean, taking uh, local staples, Chinese style, like dim sum steamers and, and uh, sliders with Peking duck instead of hamburgers. And what you showed me, dragon apple quail. Huh? You had it all along. It's Asian flair, it's screaming to come out. You live in North America, yeah, but you're Chinese, so why hide? <laughs> That's awesome. Can you cook anything? Grilled cheese? I can work with that. Follow Rome. 
right here and right now. Please. You're destroying everything with your tolerance. Wow. You're mixing metaphors with melodrama. You're honey. mixing me caring with me being late for Pilates. What? Are you for real? Vivian, you listen to me or you get out of this house. I have a say in that. You have a child, Vivian. What's wrong with you? You either get Jack to marry you now or you tell Jack to take a hike. Men respond to task. Women respond to feelings. Mom, what does that mean? I don't Quoting know. Dr. Chevelle. Who the hell is Dr. Chevelle? Heck, Vivian! Heck! Mom, give me a break! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! All of you! What happened to this family? Can we run away again? Yes, you deal with this. Your opinion would matter more, Monique, if they put voting booths in your spa. Dad. It's not personal. She's still dealing with having you as a teenager. She'll be fine. Can I please just go pee? Dad. Oh, I can't believe it's over. Poor Ollie. I mean, somewhere in my heart I knew. And Jack was always so fascinated with any details that included Johnny. And it was just, you know, when I was pregnant and Jack was willing. I don't know, something happened. I just suddenly wanted a real family. Don't make regrets for yourself, Vivian. <laughs> Oliver's a great kid. <sighs> oh. No more wedding, kiddo. You can't force things the other way around. We're all crazy, aren't we? So help us. Stop complicating, simplify. Life's tough enough. Although, with John and Jack, we may need something different. They're both gonna fight it for all it's worth. Yeah. Maybe drama would work better for them. <laughs> and also, we should uh, have a little fun in life, don't you think? <laughs> you deserve a little revenge. I have a secret weapon, and she's crazy. Why, well, hello? Angela, how are you? Excellent, thank you. Ted and Michael Potty, you come? Marco, it's John's mother. What? What do you want? I need you to stop John. So you want me to give John massage now? Marco, listen. If the wedding goes as planned, keep John away from us. Can you do it? Okay, okay. So now you want me find John, stop wedding... No, not the wedding. And then... Stop John. Uh, massage? Well, whatever. Just make sure John doesn't come near the wedding. Okay. I find John, I stop him. <laughs> Call you back. Why are you so mean? You know what a shrink is, Oliver? 
No. Five minutes, sit. Oh, 100 calories, huh? Start young. A shrink is a doctor. A doctor who told me to let your mother run. This feels funny. Now listen up. And I'm only going to be saying this once. You hate me. No, no, I happen to like you a lot. But I can't let anyone else know that. Do you understand? Your mother would have had too much pressure if she stayed. And I wanted a grandchild. And you are it. So you couldn't just tell her? I had my own excrement to deal with. Understand? Your dad's side, your other family, left a lot to be desired. I should say leaves. Leaves a lot to be desired. But what about Uncle John? Can't he have babies too? Well, that's a different conversation about the birds and the... Bees? No, bir birds. Yeah, we'll talk more tomorrow. <laughs> Don't test me. Johnny? Johnny? Marco, what are you doing? Stop following me. Your mommy won you happy. You texted me. I think I owe you one. Promise. I stole it from your restaurant. I <laughs> help you with your box if you help me with my math. They're a porn star teaching you English? Man, I can carry my own groceries. Jardines is Jardines, kiddo. Nothing Asian about it. It's not about changing the company, sir. I was thinking of subsidiary. Are you marrying Vivian? Don't think I can, sir. You could. But I won't. You should. A four bedroom in Steveston. Here's my advice. The man that has come between you and Vivian, he's a pickle, next to a burger. Whether you eat him or not, he's just a garnish. Nothing to do with the main meal. Can we talk about real food? Vivian loves you. And as I recall, she hates pickles. Please, Vivian's Welcome not to the family. Take the house. Forget the recipes. I'll promote you to the office. Office? Uh, but I'm a chef. Wait, no, I, I can't keep this. Mr. Jardine, I'm thinking Asian restaurants serving Western food. Old school Hong Kong, I know, but it's high end. Dim some sheet, casual fine dining, Chinese style, French cuisine fusion, coco bain, rice, noodles. I've got like a thousand recipes in my head. All right, Jack. All right. Cater the wedding. Show me what you can do. Wait, what? We'll talk subsidiary later. Candace. Yes, Mr. Jardine. Get me a quote on wedding planners, guest list invitations for tomorrow, noon. Uh, tomorrow is not going to be enough. Who's the wedding for, sir? Vivian and this... Jack Gang. And uh, make sure the team draws up a prenup. Right away. Meet Vivian. Three o'clock, Jardines. And stop scrooging, young man. Buy her some flowers. Hi. 
Thanks for the flowers. Can you bring the bottle? Right on. Brini. <laughs> Sign there. Why'd you run? It's what I do. You sure you want to do this? Cold feet. You had yours and I had mine. Yeah, but... What are you getting out of this? A family. A feeling. We'll always have our family. Me, you, and Ollie will always be related. He's not yours. <sighs> Olive's not your son. Excuse me. What? Mm -hmm. <sighs> totally not related. Where's your, um, some wine? What? Uh, I'm looking for a waiter. I'm looking for a cleaver. Jack. Don't jack me. I watch soap operas. You gotta be kidding. Yeah. You were drunk that night, too, but there was someone else, some loser, party crasher from the Burbs. It was Burnaby. I was, what, 19, 20? Okay, 21. I panicked. We were friends. You happened to be Chinese, too, and I needed you. Um, all he doesn't know. Probably don't want to weird him out with that stuff right now. What the now. hell, babe? I feel sick. Okay, okay, Jack, calm down. Calm down. Totally kidding. What? I was testing you to see if this was about Ollie, but no, he's, uh, he's definitely yours. Actually, maybe. Uh, not sure. Don't know. <laughs> I was drunk too. Um, so how do you feel? Oh. Ah, Jack. Hello. <laughs> mm. uh. Ah. Well, then. Welcome to Jardines. Enjoy. Look, I had to know whether it was just about Ollie. Okay, doing it for the kid. No more guilt. We gotta do this one clean. Jack, it's like we said, right? My parents, they're old school. I mean, the prenup, the marriage, the contracts, and the, the paperwork. We're gonna have fun together. The wedding's gonna be awesome! <laughs> Times you wanna twist off. Look, I'm I'm sorry that I lied about um lying. I wanted to know, are you running towards something you want? Mm -hmm. Jack, or are you just running? Either way, I'm here. Jack, don't do this because you're scared. Oh. I'm not scared. Not the wedding. It's getting married to you. That's freaking me out. Bathroom need a queer eye. What? What are you doing? If you don't like, I take off now. Oh my god, no, no, leave it on. Hey. He carried my groceries. I save his parsnip. Peeled. You peeled my parsnip. There's no S in parsnip. Jack. I don't care. Do whatever. I'm getting married. Your dad said yes to the recipes. He's partnering up with me. I'm not sure you're in on the thing. Who designs this crap? Can you not be passive aggressive? I want happy ever after, John. I give happy ending all the time. Marco, you want commitment? I mean, we just had sex for the first time. John, you slut. <sighs> Marco, get out. I just say true. Get out. OK. Get out. Fine. You ever heard of dating? Yes, I have. And nothing is happening Where here. were you this morning? Downtown. You left. You didn't stay for coffee. I would have considered that a date. You don't have any beans. They're in the freezer. I am sending movers. Jack! You keep demonizing me because of your own insecurities. I went to the restaurant. 
to get ingredients for us. Because all you have is Chinese stuff, and we needed the basics. Look, for the first time, I'm actually feeling something. I'm building you something. You don't get it, do you? I can't get something that you're not saying. I can't share a kitchen with you. I know you work hard. Not my point. Yeah. You got good taste. Spend money on your palate. Traveling, eating. But you have no clue how it feels to slice the tomato when it's raw. As opposed to boiled or baked. How that translates to how it sits on a plate or in a bowl or in a Bloody Mary even. Okay, so tomatoes have feelings. The way people drink, eat, the communion. How the tomato feels on the inside when it becomes a part of our bodies. Until you see all that, you... You can't respect, appreciate even what a kitchen, what my kitchen has to offer. Ingredients aren't just things you stuffed your face with, John. We're alive. We have feelings. Twenty years. I was obsessed. Pretty much in love with you. Thought maybe you cared. But you just didn't know how to show it. I care, Jack. I'm here, aren't I? You, you challenge me. You throw shit at me. You fight back. It, you're different and cool. And I don't want to be different and cool. I don't want to throw shit back anymore. I want love back. You're going through some life change. Trying to find meaning, like correcting the spelling mistakes in my recipes for cooking. Do you even see what you do? You should find what you're looking for first, John. And maybe one day you can text me. You'll be married to my sister! Dreams take sacrifices. And I'm not gonna give that up on what? A one night stand? <sighs> By the way, you can't say parsnips with an S. There is a plural. I'm surprised I didn't know that. Why so serious, John? You peel me? Do you offer anything else, Marco? Ever? You want scissors? No, I don't want scissors. Fine, I see myself. Is he real with himself? Ever? He tried to make life better. He has good heart. Well, maybe that's the problem. Hey, don't move. Why you not take him to Garage Bucket? It's Grunge Buckets. Oh. And honestly, I didn't even know he was into music back then. He liked music because you like music. Friendship like that sometimes. But also, when he was young, I poor, he cannot afford. Shit. <sighs> Come, I finish. Look. Wow. Nice. It's not always about you. You know, back in Homeland when I was young, very miserable, heart not peaceful. So, I tried to be like other women, have baby. Then I make new home, have son. Now I happy. Today, it's different. You love who you love, but you live life any way you want. No one force you. But two people must talk. Sometimes three people must talk. But always, you must create your own life. Yeah. Viv. Viv. No, Viv. Viv, don't do it. Guys, come on. I know you can hear me. I, Dad. Dad. Mom. Let me in. Dad. 
Yes? You stop fooling around, please. I just want to come home. Monique, honey, can you turn that thing off? Where's the button? It's the one that says OFF. Look, I don't know what else to do. You left yesterday. Yeah, but all I got is this expensive taste you gave me. I don't have any skills, assets, any real friends even. All I do is criticize everything and- Listen to yourself. What? Gratitude, kiddo. John, that's all we ask. Well, you worked your ass off, I know. I'm grateful, Dad. You never think about the future, kid. Maybe it's because you're gay. <laughs> that's offensive, you know. I'm talking about you, that's all. Whether you end up marrying or having a kid, no matter. You've never thought about paying it forward. It's not healthy, son, to just feel good all the time. You gotta give to get. The wedding's tomorrow. Jack said his mother's. Do what you will. It is your life after all. dinner at the house sometime, it'd be nice for Oliver to know his uncle. All right. I can't believe this. If you're here to judge me on my choices, get out. I love Vivian. She is my best friend. That's who you marry. Just pretend for a minute that we're both straight, okay? I know that that is a reach, but work with me. And I'm your good buddy, giving you advice on your whole big, straight, dream wedding, night before type thing. You don't marry your best friend, Jack. That is settling. Don't settle, she's it won't last. She's also the mother of my son. Yes, and she's been that for the last 10 years without marriage. It's and what, are you the expert on straight marriage now too? Okay, I get that it can't be all about me, okay? I have heard you all loud and clear, so please, even if we never kiss again, even if it's not about me and you, let it be about you. This is my dream. Bullshit! I have had great sex with you. I don't believe for one minute that this is your dream. I mean, the house in the burbs, maybe. The sun is a done deal. The restaurant, absolutely. And you're absolutely. not in that picture! I know! Not me! But someone who loves you! Not friend style, Jack! Not friend style! Do it all, Jack, but do it with someone who loves you the way you deserve to be loved. You can't stuff your true self in this box to make other people happy and do it and pretend it's required to achieve your goals. Your mom said it to me earlier. Now you live life any way you want. She loves you and she doesn't want this for you either. So do it your own way, Jack. You are beautiful and talented and perfect. I know I blew it. So, I am so sorry that it took me so long to figure it out. So don't do it for me. Do it for you. The real you. Okay, the real dream. It's so the one you can't tell anybody about. When I glimpsed the other day. Do it for yourself, Jack. Please. 
Please. Bye, Johnny. It's your cell phone. These were supposed to be outside 20 minutes ago. Do you mind bringing them out? Yes, sir. Don't quit your day job. Stop eating them. You are in the weeds. I'm hungry. It's amazing, boss. What are you talking about? Hmm. We have costume for you. Okay. You like? Yeah. 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 Where's Uncle John? Why can't you marry him? You're stupid when you talk about him. Hey. You're stupid too when you don't. You'll learn one day, Ollie. You can't be stupid all the time. Lucky! Come on! We are gathered here today. Whoa. What? Jack. We're starting, okay? We're gathered here today to join this couple in holy matrimony. <laughs> Let it go. No! No! Please. Johnny, please! No worries. Now that was the icing. No house in the burbs. That's all I ask. We're moving in now? But we just had sex for the first time. What? 
He did text me. Grunge Buckets, final run, 2002. Freeze-dried apples for when you get mad at me. And stickers for all the crap you go through at work. Don't get too grateful, though. It's partly selfish. We're starting a partnership, right? Right. And I might be falling in love with you. But brace yourself, because I'm probably pretty bad at it. Would I sign up? Right here. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Dad. Sir, I. You okay with me uh, working again? I was thinking I could help Jack out. It's called dating, Johnny. No. No, not just that. I. I think Jack can head a restaurant. And I can be there for him. Front of house. For us. As long as he's cooking. <laughs> Vivian, when I had my wedding, we actually. Oh, Mom. You know, Dad wanted this. Besides you, everyone's fine, right, Ollie? You enjoy the show? Mm hmm. Mom, pass the cake. Mom. Everyone, thank you. To John Applejack. To John Applejack. Cheers.
to bring love to me.